pin six, checking out four crossbred gilts. Dan has caught here. This is 17 9. She's going to be a lot 28. She's an exchange rate back on a wishbone sound. And this girl is neat. She is up headed. She's level made. She can get out and take a really good, flexible stride. Um, see her coming at us. She's very square in that chest floor. Um, one that's very good up over that top line. She's square out of that blade down her loin edge. Really good in terms of shape out through her hip and hind leg. She's one that's designed extremely well and extremely practical. One that's going to be an easy feeding gilt. Um, one I think is going to be um, one that you get her up in that, you know, that 250 to 300 pound range. And she's just going to be flat awesome. Again, that is 17-9. Kind of this black hip gilt here. This is 7 8, and she's a digger exchange rate. Um, we've seen some brothers and another sister of hers in this sale. This girl is one that has all the right parts and pieces. She's up headed, she's clean throated, she has a huge chest floor laid in her. She's square over that top line, she's good in that hip shape really good in terms of that center body. I think this is a guilt you need to get home, put her on a feeder, um, and just watch her go. Um, I really like her and just in terms of how she's built from the ground up, a guilt that has a whole lot of future left in her as well. Um, jumping over here, if we can catch this um, kind of white socks guilt, this is 24-7, lot 30. She is a digger diamond. We saw another sister to her. I love this gilt. I think she has that cocky showering attitude. She's up headed. She's leveling her makeup very good in terms of her overall design. You study her. She's jet level down that top line. Um, really good out through that hip and hind leg. Really square made from behind as well. Good in terms of that center body dimension. Uh, also, as we talked about, doesn't hurt. She's just really cool marked in terms of like her lower half of her body being white. I just love this scale. I think she's one that's going to be a lot of fun to feed, a lot of fun to have in your barn and go out and show. I think she has a lot of potential. Yeah, she might be a notch greener today in her makeup, but don't let that, that discourage you. I think this is one that has potential to be big time, and I just love how she's designed. Who am I missing? 13-6. And she's kind of the one where the belt comes together in the top line right there. This is lot number 23. She's also, she's a digger heater. And this girl from the side profile is impeccable. She's up headed. She's taller at the point of the shoulder. She's maybe a notch longer, more extended from the side profile, which on these gilts, you know, to get them up in those weight ranges to win shows, they need to have a little more um, body mass to them. Super sound in that makeup. You get on top of her, she's level down that top line. She's correct in that hand loin junction and designed out through her hip and hind leg. Gets out and moves extremely well. She's good in her shoulder placement. I think this is another gilt. She just needs some time on a feeder. And I think this summer she's going to be a whole lot of fun to get out and go. Just watch her go. She's one of those gilts you can just kind of watch her go back and forth all day. One I really like. Again, this is 13-6. It's going to be lot 23.